Thanks for checking out this video. So this is for one of my kind of opinion videos that I put out each week. And I figured since I'm already sharing information with you about mainly films that I like, horror films and all that analysis, I figure, why don't I also tell you about who I like as far as horror content creators go? And that kind of can hit a lot of different areas, you know, whether it's YouTube or Twitch or, you know, magazines, books, you know, any of that type of stuff. So this is kind of like a recommendation thing that I'm going to be doing. So I'll be doing more of these, but I'm just starting here. Now, where I'm starting on this one is Andrea Subasati, which if people don't know who she is... She is best known as the editor-in-chief of Rue Morgue Magazine, which is a wonderful horror magazine out of Toronto, Canada, that I have personally been a subscriber to for 14 years now. She has not been the editor that whole time. I think in the time I've been subscribed, there have been, she's the third or fourth editor that I've known, that I've experienced, uh, and she's doing a wonderful job. So that's who she's known as most, um, but I'm not mainly going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about her. She also may, you also may know her as a, a, one of the two hosts along with Alex West of Faculty of Horror, which is a wonderful, very scholarly uh, horror podcast that really di dives super, super deep into uh, horror film analysis, kind of like what I do, but even deeper and better in my opinion. So check, you can check that out as well. But I'm mainly doing this video to talk about what is new with her, which is her Twitch streaming channel. Now, if you go to Twitch, if you're hopefully you're familiar with what Twitch is. Twitch is basically where you can go and watch people stream video games that they're playing, but they also end up talking at the same time, interacting with people who can, you know, put stuff in the chat, basically. And she does that, and it's a lot of fun. So she's relatively new to it, so she doesn't have a huge number of followers, but hopefully by putting this video out, it helps kind of grow the community. I've been checking out what she's doing. Mainly because I do enjoy watching people watch video or play video games here and there, uh, but not a lot of people are doing horror video games, and that's one of the big things she's doing. Now, she's currently, when I'm recording this, playing the game The Last of Us, which uh, I've never played before because it's a, it's a PlayStation-only game, and so I was ne never able to play it. I'm a Xbox person, uh, always had interest in it, so now I can just watch her go through it. Uh, while commenting, while interacting with me and other people in the chat, and she's extremely nice. She's very horror knowledgeable, like you would assume for someone who's the editor-in-chief of a magazine like Rue Morgue. Uh, it's just fun also to kind of ask her questions about her horror experiences. I was recently asking her about, you know, some of her favorite horror-related theater-going experiences. So you can feel free to throw that stuff out there and watch her play through some horror games, which is fun. I particularly like, I mean, I'm enjoying watching her play The Last of Us, but I particularly like when she kind of does these more indie horror games, because those are ones that you're typically really not going to see. So, uh, big recommend on that. You can go to twitch.tv slash necromandria, spelled N-E-C-R-O-M-A-N-D-E-R-E-A. -E -E Did I say that right? It's basically Necro M. Andrea. Got it? Uh, that and Or you can just go to twitch.tv and search Necro M. Andrea, and that will get you to her channel. So not only is she doing streaming of horror video games, but she's also doing some time just has a actually a whole portion she's calling Sunday Sabbath, I believe, where she's just talking horror. You know, no video gaming going on. It's just chatting interacting with the people in the chat and talking horror stuff, you know, whatever you want to talk about. So that is on Sundays, and that's I, it's on her schedule. It says it's between 3 and 5. I have not been able to make it on for any of those just because Sundays are tough for me to, to be able to watch people on Twitch and do other things because I am busy on Sundays typically until the evening and night. Uh, but the main time I'm watching her playing her video games is on Tuesday nights, she starts at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and kind of goes until, you know, she feels like it's a good place to stop or she's getting tired or, you know, everyone feels like it's a good a good place to stop. So, uh, highly recommend. Oh, also, she does jump on it. Sorry. She jumps on and streams on some Fridays as well. And I always like to catch those Fridays because it usually goes relatively late since we're going into the weekend. Um it's a really fun time. She's a very nice person. 
Um, there's profanity, so if you're not into profanity, just know that. Uh, she hangs out, has a drink, maybe a little something else, just to relax, and uh, yeah, you can play along as well in that sense. Have a drink as well, chill out, and have a good time. So I really wanted to just throw this out there because I've been having a wonderful time watching her streams, and I just want to get the information out there. So just like I'm recommending Andrea Subasati's Twitch stream, what would you recommend to me? I am totally open to checking out other horror content, whether it's someone you know of and you really like, or whether it's yourself. You know, If you're watching this and you're like, I put out some really great horror content, go ahead and put some information down there. And like I said, I'll do more of these because there are plenty of people who I've been watching in the horror community in one way or another and really think are awesome. So I want to get the information out there. But I'm, I want to do it one person at a time or one group at a, at a time so that I can, you know, talk about them like I did here. So hopefully people check out uh, Andrea's Twitch stream and uh, yeah, I'll be there. Well, I'm, I'm there on Tuesday, even, uh, Tuesday nights and Friday nights when she's on. I don't make the Sundays, but yeah, I'll be there. So go ahead and put some comments down here. Let's talk about it. Hit subscribe if you can for me and you can. Literally takes you a second. Costs you no money. Totally, totally painless. And it is very awesome for me. I 100% appreciate it. It really keeps me motivated to keep doing videos. But regardless, I thank you for taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.